Amid the return of the hostages and the Palestinian prisoners, the brief truce in the Israel-Hamas war has focused attention on the damage the conflict has done to the people. One startling fact that has emerged tells us about the state of the people in Israel. The use of anti-anxiety medicines is sought in Israel. Its Health Maintenance Organizations, or HMO, says the use of prescription drugs to treat depression and trauma has soared 11% in the month since the start of the war in Gaza. A company that insures 2.6 million Israelis says the demand for these drugs has risen 20% since the war. So what are these drugs? The medication, it includes psychiatric prescription drugs, tranquilizers that include antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication. It is important to know that such drugs can also be addictive. In another alarming statistic, the month of war saw a 90% jump in the sale of drugs used to calm down and induce sleep. Even as the Israeli hostages return to their families, the trauma of the war persists. Israelis are on edge, awaiting news of their loved ones still left in captivity. Let's also talk about Gaza now, that has faced the wrath of retaliatory Israeli strikes and the children of Gaza are living with the daily trauma. There is not enough medication to alleviate their suffering. Save the Children says relentless bombardment has aggravated the already critical mental health crisis for Gaza's children. Safe spaces and coping strategies have all been ripped away from the children of war. Over 4,000 children have been killed in Gaza. Five decades of unrelenting war between Israel and Hamas has resulted in permanent damage to large swathes of people, as per a World Bank survey. That 58% of Palestinians show symptoms of depression, about 7% display PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Meanwhile, Israel has also been compelled to accept that a significant portion of its people and troops have PTSD. And how can we forget about the other war, the war in Europe, that will complete two years in February 2024? UNICEF has warned about the impact of the war on a generation. It said that there was not a single aspect of children's lives that the war had not impacted. As 2023 wraps up, the two wars are being waged in different corners of the world. It's evident the war has been normalized for an entire generation. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.